We're here with Kyle Smith from New Zealand. Thanks for joining us and thanks for bringing this beauty of a bike. Now we actually did a pro bike with Kyle Smith not too long ago at the Collins Cup and uh, it was a pretty different bike to this. In fact, it wasn't a sponsored bike, was it? Where did you get that bike from? Yeah, so it was a bike that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Just kind of, yeah, as you do. When there's a need <laughs> <laughs> for a bike, then you just get it from Facebook, I guess. Yeah, so it was a, that was a bike that didn't even make it through the Collins Cup. Not entirely the bike's fault, was it? No, that's what, I mean, you can't blame the bike. I crashed on it, so <laughs> you can yeah. only speak so much. <laughs> well, he's got a significant upgrade here. Canyon Speedmax CFR, and he's upgraded that with a parkour wheel set disc on the back and 80 millimeter in the front. This is a sweet setup. So let's dig down into the details of what he's going to be riding for the Ironman World Champs. All right, let's take you through all the details of the bike that Kyle's going to be riding. So, as I said, Canyon Speedmax CFR, the standard silver edition. It's a pretty good looking bike, I think you'll agree. In fact, Mark and I ride it, we fight over it in the office all the time. He's going to be riding the Canyon that we own. So, he's got the Speedmax CFR, he's paired that with SRAM Red Axis E-Tap and he Interestingly, he's gone for a 5441 on the front, a nice big 5410 uh, ratio for those downhills. We're seeing most of the pros do that for this race. There are going to be some fast downhills, especially if the wind blows the right direction. Uh, he's got a 28, so 41, 28 for the climbing, which should be more than enough. I mean, there are hills in this race, but they're not super steep, so that'll definitely get him up those hills. Interestingly, his wheel choice. So these are brand new, in fact, not even released yet, wheel set from Parkour. The Parkour Chrono 80 millimeter in the front, which he's riding regardless of what the wind promises to do. Not a problem for the car. And he's riding the disc wheel at the back. Both of these, interestingly, are super wide. In fact, I'm told they're the widest wheel set available. So he's paired those wheels with that wide internal diameter with tubeless Conti 5000s, he's got a 28 millimeter on the back and a 25 millimeter on the front, so it should give him a nice comfortable ride. Not that the course is particularly rough, but comfort's always important on such a long race. Also these wheels, Parkour as a sponsor of Carl, have made him special personalized hubs. He's got a silver fern, the Kiwi emblem, on his hubs and that's a pretty cool little fine detail on these custom yet to be released wheels. In the front, he's got the standard Canyon Ergon Aero bars, uh, the nice armrest pads there for comfort. He's got the Wahoo Element bolt for his power numbers, and so you can see all of his data, uh, and a really tight front end there for his hands, nice and close together and aero. All in all, I think this is a pretty fast bike. For his hydration on this bike, he's using the internal bladder, you can see the straw coming out there, and he's paired it with the special cap that you can refill on the go, so obviously he'll be refilling that as he goes. He's also got a Elite Chrono Aero bo bottle on the frame, which I assume will have his more concentrated nutrition in it. He's also got a bottle cage behind his saddle. Now this I'll assume is for him to grab bottles from the air aid stations and have somewhere to put them, because when you're using an internal bladder and an Aero bottle, you don't want to be grabbing a bottle and have nowhere to put it because the litter zones are pretty quick on these courses. And I think that's everything for this bike. It is a pretty sweet ride. It's certainly better than the last Carl Smith Pro bike we did. And we look forward to seeing it tearing up this course on the weekend. Well, Carl, thank you so much for letting us look at your bike and uh, have a good, good look at all the details. It's a pretty sweet looking machine. I uh, wishing you all the best for the weekend and uh, I'm sure we're gonna see this thing flying around the course. So thanks for joining us. No worries, thank you. Uh, yeah, there's no excuses now, just uh, on the best bike. <laughs> well, so you it's got to pedal. can't blame the bike, that's for sure. <laughs> Keep it rubber side down and we should be sweet. Exactly. <laughs>